what is so good about good friday we found the answer for this it is good for the rebellious soul because even though they haven't asked for forgiveness jesus gives them the forgiveness it's up to them to receive it it is good for the repenting soul when they turn to jesus christ they are assured of salvation good friday is good for the neglected soul abandoned neglected because jesus reaches out to them and he has asked the church to reach out to them good friday is good for the alienated souls separated from god people who feel that they are forsaken he assures that god will never forsake them good friday is good for the unreached souls because the good shepherd is searching for those sheep so that he could bring them into the fold so we also join with them and reach out to the unreached souls good friday is good for the perishing soul because the salvation is finished work people have to know that now we have finally come to the last one that good friday is good for the dying souls the lord who came to teach us how to live also has showed us how to die now here in this passage we come to know about hours fifth hour sixth hour and ninth hour and you may wonder what is this now as i was thinking about it even though i have spoken more than what i used to speak in other churches it's only 2 o'clock i think your service is very short <laughs> will you get angry if i finish it before 3 <laughs> no no actually <clears throat> when i was in kirk i used to wonder why they have the 9 o'clock service and all the tamil churches have 12 o'clock or 11:30 and go up to 3 p.m and we always called uh, call it uh, three hour service mummani dhyanam so many people think that jesus was hanging on the cross for three hours that's why we are in the church for three hours <laughs> okay without food without anything to drink <laughs> no actually he was crucified in the morning 9 o'clock the zero is morning 6 o'clock so he was crucified on the cross in the third hour that's what the scripture says that is 9 o'clock in our time and he was hanging till 9th hour that is evening 3 pm so jesus was hanging on the cross for 6 hours six hours okay i started at nine o'clock the first service and going up to three o'clock now the lord suffered for you and me and finally he showed us how to die also how we can courageously die many time people die in different uh, different ways my first posing is an arkonam there we had few nurses working in different hospitals one nurse who was working in government hospital very close to the church used to tell me ayya it is very difficult to work in a government hospital they bring in all kinds of people sometime we i have to do night duty also and many a time people will die during the midnight during the night the alexis from arcona i know his father <laughs> very well and uh, she said sometimes these people shout they say aya karuppa edo naaluthudu aaluthudu nuvang something black figure is pressing on them many a time they will shout shout ayyo 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 
then they will finally die and in the silent hours of the night it's very difficult to hear the noises the crying but here we see jesus christ boldly dying and showing us a model how to die he said i am committing my spirit in the hands of god oh father look at the way he calls him father we have the privilege to god call god father he is our father i commit my spirit into your loving hands yes god's people who strongly believed in jesus have died in a peaceful way as we read in psalm 116 precious in the sight of the lord the death of his saints many people die in the sleeping uh, as they were sleeping recently we lost a look francis he died as he was sleeping my uncle he just went out bought something came back and he was just lying when the children came after the school they found him dead peaceful death david livingston the last days people found that he was spending more time in prayer and one day the servant brought the breakfast and found david livingston kneeling on the floor and keeping his hand and head on the bed and he was in a praying posture so he thought he was praying and then left he again came and brought the breakfast he was in the same position so he went away when he came for the third time he had a little doubt and he went and shook his body and the body simply fell down so he died as he was praying to the lord what a blessed day and this is also told about reverend d l moody he was in his death bed and his family members gathered around him they were simply watching and praying and after some time he said death like a dark valley but now i experience no valley i see jesus christ coming towards me he said that i see jesus christ coming towards me he is bringing our grandchildren because the grandchildren died uh, met with an accident and they died both died so reverend moody as he was lying in his death bed he said these words i see jesus christ coming towards me he is bringing our grandchildren dear brothers and sisters in christ we don't have to fret and fume of our death no we can boldly face the death because jesus christ won victory over death and he shares that victory with us there is another story about uh, uh, francis of assisi saint francis of assisi and he lived in a mo- in a monastery and many works are assigned to the priest and nuns and other people and once a person wanted to visit the father in that uh, monastery and when he went there he saw francis of assisi sweeping the garden and then he came uh, and asked him no 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 you should not do all these things he said no i am not doing something wrong i am not committing a sin i am just doing my job i am just sweeping it no you should wait for the lord then the other person asked him suppose the lord comes at this time suppose you know that lord is coming next time next day on the same time will you be sweeping 
And Francis of Assisi seemed to have said, yes, I will do that. I am not doing something wrong. I had a similar experience. I went to Aikya Alaya in uh, Santom. <coughs> there is a Roman Catholic uh, uh, church. And when I went there, I was amazed to see the principal of Loyola College cleaning the pews. I knew him beforehand, so I was able to recognize him. I was really shocked. The principal of Loyola College, after his retirement, he was assigned there and he was cleaning the pews, taking a cloth and cleaning it. And I knew that what they told about Francis Assisi is true. He was not afraid of death. He was not afraid, he was not threatened because of the second coming, no. He was bold enough to face the death because Jesus has conquered death and we also conquered death. That's why we can say along with St. Paul who said in 2 Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 7, I have fought a good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness which the Lord, the righteous judge will award to me on that day. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, let's thank God for the privilege of facing death boldly. We are not afraid of death. Anytime God calls, we can go. God simply receives our soul. He doesn't snatch our loved ones away from us. Since the body is unable to continue to live, the Lord receives the soul and accepts the souls in his presence. And we all have the faith that we will see our loved ones once again. There's a beautiful song that uh, Jim Reeves used to sing. I wish the Jaira Jaya is here. We all know the song. The world is not my home. I'm just a passing through. My treasures are laid up somewhere beyond the blue. The angels beckon me from heaven's open door. I cannot feel at home in this world anymore. Let's keep a moment of silence. Thanking God for strengthening us in our life. The Lord who came to show us the way to live also showed us how to face death. Death is our gain, not a loss. Not a loss. Loving God, we thank you for enabling us to come into your holy place and reflect on the lovely seven words on the cross. Yes, Lord, Good Friday is good for all of us. Good Friday is good for the rebellious souls, for the repenting souls, for the neglected souls, for the alienated souls for the unreached souls, for the perishing souls, and for the dying souls. Yes, Lord. Thank you for the privilege. Thank you for the blessing that we all receive because you died on the cross so that we could all call this Friday a good Friday. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for that. Continue to be with us and help us to lead a witnessful life so that the purpose for which you died on the cross could be fulfilled in our personal life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.